it's getting late, so it's not going to be too long of a video, but uh, just a bit of a bit of a new project that uh, I came across tonight. I've got these uh, lead acid batteries. I think they are out of a uh, UPS or emergency lighting or something similar. Um, 12 volt, 5 ampere. I picked up seven of these tonight off a mate of mine for the right price, ten bucks, and a little six bucks. Well, so we'll put up the big ones first. So first thing I've done is popped all the caps out and uh, used a syringe to make sure that they were full of water. Electrolyte starts off as water, I guess, and uh, we've got them all topped up. Now, I believe they're it says sealed lead acid, but I believe they're uh, AGM batteries, uh, so that's AGM is for absorbed glass mat, so they're like a woven glass mat thing in there, anyway. They all took quite a bit of water. This cup was full. So I probably took 200 mils of water. Fill them up. And they went from being not quite open circuit but going straight up into high voltages straight away down to 12 volts. So I'm only putting in 100 milliamps at the moment. Just wind it up a bit. Push to three amps. You should slowly start taking some charge. Yeah. Don't know how clear this is going to be. Oh, quite clear. So, for standby use, 13.6 to 13.8 volts is normal. For cyclic use, as in when you're using them, uh, you can charge them to 14.5 to 14.9 volts. So it'll quite take quite a bit of quite a bit of charge. 14.4 or 14.5 I thought was fairly normal, but 14.9 is fairly high if you ask me. I've nearly been out of work yet how old they are, but uh it doesn't really matter. So what we can do now is turn so this red light on the uh, the uh, capacitor is limiting the output voltage. I might go 14.7 halfway between I guess. I'm just going to go up to 14.8. Anyway, so we'll push 3 amps into it for a while. 3 amps isn't much, it's like 700 milliamps each. So not much at all. And uh, We'll wait until they get down to you know, the low numbers on the milliamps and I'll just keep checking their temperature and make sure they're not getting hot. But uh, by the looks of this we might be saving them. So these four could could be good. I will charge them on the capacity charger, on the LiPo chargers to get capacity out of them. But uh, as far as making sure the cells are okay, they should be fine. Thanks for watching.